select track, select join, select track, select Oxford Concrete Oil Heat, that's the one I've been using, and you put in your bit of track. When it goes yellow, it's dead straight, you can twist it either way, dead easy, eh? You click, and away it goes. If you want to go again, it will do it. Oh, depends on how many you want. You want. Okay, so to jump in and say put a turnout in, again, you select your piece of track where you want the turnout to be, turn it out, again you're still on join and you just join. And what it does, if you go and check it, you will find all the point bits are put in there. Easy, huh? <laughs> so then if you want to turn it back in the other way, because it's already selected on that piece of track, you turn it back. As I say, it looks easy, doesn't it? <laughs> it's not that easy, but that's basically how you do it. Hope you enjoyed my little tutorial. As I say, you select that, you select your track, just keep watching. And you go closer, because it won't let you do it if you don't get close. You put your marker where you want it, and you increase your track length. You can do it to loads of different lengths, but that's the way to do it, nice and easy. So you want to move over to here. You can click once, you can get on here nice and quick. Again, keep it straight if you want. In this case, because it's coming too close to this one, I'm going to pull it away. So you pull it away until you're happy with it being looking reasonably straight with the other one, and you click. Dead easy. You use right mouse to move and arrow keys, well, like the old days. Again, you click where you want it to be, and you run this one straight if you want, as long as you want. Okay? There. Not so bad, eh? You want to carry on, you just carry on. And it will keep doing that until you want to change it. In this case, I don't, so I'm just going to let it run all the way down here until it turns yellow, and then you know it's straight, as if you want straight track. There you go, a little tutorial to do with a new one. So remember, you select your track, you then select the type of track you want. And in this case, it's join, yeah? yeah and then you select the type of track you want. I always stick to one, because I reckon if you mix them it doesn't work so well. And I'm using Track Oxford Concrete Oily. You select that, it comes down here, as you can see. And then finally, if you really want to mess about, you can magnetic kit and everything else, and say one or two tracks, three tracks, four tracks, and it'll put those in for you as well. All you do is just click here and type in your new number. Say you want two tracks, you then come back onto your your layout and as you can see it will lay two tracks if you want it to join to wherever you want to be again you select your type of track you get close and eventually you'll get a marker once you've done the usual that one that one and here's your marker oops not quite yet this here there it is and you can attach it I've got it quite close to where you want to attach to, and then you can draw in two bits of track. Again, when it goes yellow, you can double it. To join track, it's just the same, same way really. You take one piece to the other piece, that will join. Not easy to do, but you'll learn to do it. There you go, have fun.